The FDA's Vaccine Advisory Committee also talked at length about the ethics of what should now happen to the placebo group in Pfizer's vaccine trial. Should they now be permitted to get the actual vaccine? It's a question that is much more complicated than it might seem. We talked about it with one of the trial participants who's also a member of our Local 4 family. Oh man, it's amazing. It really is. Local 4 assignment editor Matt Triplett is ecstatic that Pfizer's vaccine will soon be available for the first groups of high priority Americans. I just talked to the clinic on the phone a couple minutes ago and the phone's ringing off the hook for everybody saying, yay, we're here. <laughs> As a trial participant, Triplett still doesn't know if he received the actual vaccine or the placebo. What to do with the brave volunteers from the clinical trials is a topic of much debate. Letting the participants know whether or not they received the vaccine would limit researchers' ability to gather longer-term safety data. But is it ethical to prevent those who got the placebo from getting the real vaccine once it's authorized? Triplett says he will happily wait his turn. When it's my turn to get one, if I already got it, great. If I didn't get it, I'll wait in line until my number's called. I mean, I can't. I didn't do this to get a break. The panel discussed an alternative called a blind crossover. Essentially, everyone in the trial is re-vaccinated. Those who got the placebo the first time would get the actual vaccine the second time around, and vice versa. You don't know personally, but they know, so they know to monitor, you know, by the time it's all done, we all have it. They can look at it and say, okay, we've got that many more people to, to look at. I think that me personally, I'd like to do it that way. Regardless of what's decided, Triplett is excited to see the light at the end of the tunnel. I want to be able to go hug a friend that I haven't seen in six months and say, hey, come on, we're having a beer. And <laughs> give him a big bear hug and sit down and have a fire or go for a boat ride and just enjoy life again. I mean, we, we, I think we deserve that. And hit the golf course, right, Matt? We know you love golf. We are so darn proud of you. Thank you so very much. Volunteers, by the way, in the Pfizer trial will continue to be monitored for two years, whether they choose to eventually get the vaccine or not. Now, this doesn't just impact Pfizer's trial. If people in other trials withdraw after a different vaccine is authorized, it will make it more difficult to complete the studies on different vaccines. Experts agree those vaccines will also be needed to conquer this pandemic.